Welcome, welcome to our second show on what happened this week. Uh, last week we uh, premiered our first show. I really liked it. I'm pretty sure Maria and Alex, by the way, welcome Maria, welcome Alex again to our second show. Thank you. Thank you, David. Yeah, I really like the show. I think it's, it, it moves pretty fast and does exactly what we would like to do today. Our uh, objective is basically to present some news. Uh, it could just be news, it could be events. And as you know, there's just a lot of things happening in the country, in Arizona, and also at AARP. So that's what uh, we would like to do. Uh, just kind of do a, a recap of some, some happenings in the country in Arizona and at AARP. So let's get started. I'll show the, the uh, PowerPoint and uh, we'll get started. Maria, do you wanna go first? Here you go. Thank you. So today is National Nurses Day with the start of the week, uh, May 6th through the 12th. So it's a great opportunity to say thanks to all our frontline nurses and any nurse in any medical divi you know, division. You know, with the with the coronavirus, uh, I just uh, we cannot thank it, thank them enough. It's they just uh, did an amazing and still doing an amazing job. I cannot picture myself, you know, getting in there with the, with the whole activity. So it is it is a very uh, it's always been important, but I think this time around it's super important to celebrate and to thank the nurses, right? Right. Definitely, Alex. How about this one? Well, I think, uh, David, this one is going to have a big, big impact in our community, in the Hispanic Latino um, uh, community, because uh, Governor Ducey on May 4th, on Tuesday, May 4th, he signed legislation allowing community colleges, like Maricopa Community Colleges, to offer four-year degrees, paving the way for Arizona's current and future workforces and expanding opportunities for populations that are historically underrepresented in higher education which means that now students that may not be able to afford a four-year program in a university like U of A or ASU or GCU, they can stay in a, in a community college and get their four-year education there. So that could be pretty big for our community. It definitely pretty big, yes. Uh, thank you for that. And, I'll and cover it starts, the next by the way, something huh? I do, I forgot mm -hmm. to mention, David, it starts fall of 2023 that's when the community oh. colleges will start offering so sorry about that yeah no it's a very important information so mm -hmm. it's still about over a year i suppose correct yeah correct yeah exactly perfect mm -hmm. yeah good start thanks and let me just mention real quick i i don't know how much the community has uh, become aware that president biden with the uh, executive order basically opened up the uh, marketplace in the affordable care act with a special enrollment period, obviously the pandemic or with the pandemic, a lot of people lost jobs and they, they need uh, healthcare. So they, they opened it up. And not only did they open it up with a special enrollment period that ends August 15, August 15, ACA marketplace will end its special enrollment period. But at the same time, they injected a stimulus. I mean, the, even the ACA got a stimulus, lots of money so that the subsidies that people get uh, are bigger and people who probably in other times that were not eligible, now they would be eligible. A great boost uh, financially. And then this special enrollment period, great, great things for our community. Yep. Maria? Right. So it is time for our annual Andres Award for Community Service. So this is the highest AARP recognition award in honor of our founder, Ethel Percy Andres. So you can uh, nominate a volunteer in our community, in any community in Arizona, um, and you can use our website. So the nominations are going to be accepted through July 15th. Um, and you can see that website at aarp.org slash Andrews Award, really important award to recognize volunteers. Definitely is, definitely. Thank you for that. Alex, the next one. Well, here's another very important one, David. This week, on um, early this week, uh, we were very excited to hear this uh, veto that Governor uh, Doug Ducey did. Uh, he vetoed a, a state bill. And basically, this happened right after a, an Arizona Republic investigation. The governor basically shut down the state board, the license 
um, a, a felon to run nursing homes where mm. 15 people had died. This wow. is after the, the Arizona Republic investigation and after AARP put some pressure behind it as well. Our boss, Dana Marie Kennedy, did a great job uh, as well in having conversations with the governor's office. So uh, we are very, very excited that uh, the, the governor did the right thing here. He basically shut down this bill that would have been very damaging because it would have licensed this board up mm. until 2029. So now it's mm. going to be back on the hands of the Arizona Department of Health, basically, to oversee the nursing homes and assisted living facilities. Today, we still don't know how many people have died in, mm. in uh, nursing homes and assisted living facilities together. Right. Thank you for that. Excellent. And our state office, AARP, and our boss, we continue to really, really make an impact in, in several fronts, in this case, legislatively. Thank you mm -hmm. so much for that. And let me also say that uh, Governor Ducey also wrote, uh, I believe, an executive order. And uh, now uh, the unemployment benefit, anybody applying for benefits starting the a week of May 23rd will have to be, will have to show, will have to prove that they are seeking for work. Due to the pandemic, that requirement was waived. But now that the pandemic is more under control, uh, they will start the, that requirement again. Uh, May 23rd is uh, when it starts. So again, Arizona unemployment benefits were required for applicants to be seeking for work. And uh, the last one, I believe this is the last one. Uh, many of you probably already know that the tax filing due date, the deadline is May 15, May 15. So again, I want to thank you both. Uh, we uh, just want to do a recap and, and we don't want this show to be too long. So I want to thank Maria Ramirez Trillo uh, in Tucson, Alex Juarez in Anthem. I am in Phoenix. Thank you again for joining us. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Perfect. See you next week. Take care.